Hey guys, it's Bogey here, and I just thought real quick I would make a video kind of showing you my Minecraft map, because I know I play a lot of first-person shooters, but I kind of figured I would show off my Minecraft map a little bit, just it's a little bit different, but um, yeah, so this is the top floor of my house, kind of like the penthouse thing, and yeah, I know, I'm sorry, this is on the 360, not the PC, so it's not as good as it could be, but uh, yeah, so I got a little pool there with a little jukebox and a little mini farm. And like, lighting was really hard in this building. I don't know. So I just like threw glowstone a bunch of places. Got it to work. Uh, and this is like all my stoves and stuff. I got little different um, boxes to hold stuff, and they're all labeled and storage room. And Got an enchanting table. Then if you come over here, this is like the guest room, I guess, if you want to call it that. Nice little look out over the uh, lake. I don't know why these doors are messed up. They weren't like they didn't used to be like that. Must be an update or something. And yeah, this was uh, created on survival mode. And there's my uh, Nether portal. Then if you come over here. You got all my dogs. I've got a lot of dogs. And they're all protecting my room. I don't know why they're facing that way. If I can come down here, this is my room. I've got not completely done yet. It's got a nice little roof and stuff. Got some stuff in there. And some boxes to hold stuff. Lots of, ooh, lots of diamonds. Lots of diamonds. This map, like. It was incredible how many diamonds were on it. I found one cave that came out that I actually came out of with most of those diamonds that you just saw in that box. Yeah, I know I'm high level too. I put a lot of quite a bit of time in this map. It's a big house. This house took me forever. And make this nice little spiral staircase. If you go down to here. This room is basically going to be like a zen garden type thing, be like a fountain, maybe a little garden. And what my plan is for like every wall in here just to be covered with different paintings and just have it kind of look cool. Which I actually kind of ran out of paintings, so that's why this one's not finished yet. But if we go down another floor, you can, let's see if we can get into here. Yep. This is a roller coaster I built in my house. It starts at the bottom and it goes through all this. It's kind of using a bunch of different blocks to, uh, you know, make a little scenic. And I always had a problem with like creatures spawning in here and stuff because the light was so dim because it's like a bigger house, so it was hard to get that. Oh, welcome to Beeland Hotel. I don't know. I made some rooms for, you know, people to stay in. Got a secret path down there. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do with it. But then you go into here, and you got these little rooms. They're all exactly the same. But yeah, so I, I made a uh, portal to the end, fought the Ender Dragon and all that. It's good time, good time. I gotta go get a mine cart. We'll ride the roller coaster real quick. And then I'll show you outside. So this roller coaster took a long time to get it right, like a long time. But here we go. And yeah, and there's a little pyramid to go through, and you go through all these other things. And I don't know why, like, I see these little like random, like, just big colored blocks when I'm going because other people who rolled through this said they didn't see that. So I don't know why it is. And I tried to make the corners bigger and up. Uh oh. Apparently something blew up in here. I have to fix that later, but then you go through here, go through here, and here. And I have a problem with creatures spawning in here too, so that's one of my issues. And you go down here, you make it all the way to the end, then you can get out and you can send the cart back, which I'm not gonna do because won't make it uh, because of that one spot of track that's missing. And I've got a nice little statue down there. I don't know, I was bored and had some extra bricks. So I decided to make a little cool statue. 
So anyways, that's the inside of my house. Kind of a little bit decorative. Ah, my villa up there. A nice little stairway in. If you go down here, you got a minecart path that goes all the way down to bedrock and then all the way completely across the map to, uh, there's a village on the complete other side of the map, so I made a cart path underneath ground to there. Oh, it's gonna be dark, isn't it? And I've come out here, got my little spawner so I can collect creatures, nice little garden. There's the front of my house. And I made a path to go down, get to the bottom. You can come down here and when things spawn and die, pick up all the stuff, which I've got it um, peaceful right now so I can show everything without having an issue. And now uh, I've got, <laughs> yeah, I'll explain that later. So right now, coming here, you got a nice chicken farm on this side, there's a couple of sheep in there. there they have a cow escape, but got cows and pigs over here. Yeah, just kind of storing the eggs because I think I hit my spawn limit on chickens. Not entirely sure. And I got a little bit of a bigger farm down here. Not huge because I just I don't have much use for food that much. And then another minecart path that goes all the way to the village. We'll ride it in a minute. And this is like a recreation of like a mini recreation of Nuketown. Just like a PvP arena. It hasn't been finished, like I don't have like the opening mechanism to like let people in and stuff done. But I'm still working on that, it's pretty awesome. Over here where that light is, and where that little structure is, is um... Just like, it's one of the, like, the best mines I've ever found. Like, it, I came out of there with basically all those diamonds. You can see my house from here. And uh, this was, I was just practicing on making an enderman farm killer type thing. So like, so that when I got to the end I could make it. So, basically take this and the enderman walk up to you but can't get to you because it's a block too short for them. And then they get stuck in here and they suffocate. So moving on, that's my little like, I guess it was my, I call it my vacation home now. But it used to be like my actual home until I built this big one. And now we're gonna move on to the village. We'll ride this one down there and then the underground one on the way back. So I just made this one just so I could get to the village at first before I made the cart path underground because I knew that one was gonna take a lot of work so I just made one that would get me there and get me supplies and stuff. And I kind of made the village so like people that were on my map could stay there or they could stay in my big house, whatever they really wanted to do. Ooh, and then I made this, ah, it's not really a cool bridge, but it's a little bit of scenery there. Yeah, it takes kind of cross country and I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just go like straight across the map, but whatever. Get that. So yeah, this is the village on my map. Kind of just like a crazy drop off. I don't know. After the update, it like almost like it just like added this on, like didn't even change the map at all. The watering hole thing down there. And yeah, so that's the village. I've come down here, in here. Let's see where's the button? There it is. I ride this mine cart path back. And I put down like so many of the powered rails. You go like full speed as fast as you can go all the way. Ooh, this would be a fun roller coaster ride, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would be. But yeah, so about this, this took forever to make. Just moving all these blocks, especially in survival mode. I don't know how many diamond pickaxes I actually went through. But yeah, you go as fast as you can go. And it still takes a long time because it was like completely across the map, my house from that village. And yeah, that's basically my house. Um, not a whole lot to it. Not as cool as other worlds I've uh, played on, but I built it by myself in survival. I, I, I yeah, I don't think no, I didn't have any help. Built it all on my own, and yeah, that's my Minecraft map. Thanks for watching. If you could like, share, and favorite the video. 
and maybe even subscribe. That would help me out a lot, and have a nice day.